everyone and welcome to this video and if you're new welcome to my channel today we are going to try a new foundation and I'm very excited about this foundation because it's my favorite brand for the foundations and I'm talking about Estee Lauder double wear that's my favorite foundation and for not long ago they came out with a new foundation double wear nude water fresh makeup and I was kind of first scared of trying this because I want full coverage and I want my foundation to stay on for the whole day at least 12 or 13 hours and I get sometimes or not sometimes but I get very oily on my t-zone on my nose and my chin uh, forehead and my chin and I kind of stayed away from water foundations but Estee Lauder I mean no foundation can replace my double wear as the Lauder Double Wear foundation. So I saw a couple of videos with people trying this foundation and they kind of see that it's very similar to the Double Wear foundation, but it's kind of more light wear. And I had to try it, of course I had to try it. And I got it in the same shade that I have my other foundation from Estee Lauder. It's 2C3 Fresco. And this is the packaging. It's the same packaging as the other one. And the glass. And it says shake well. Feels very nice. It's glass. And it doesn't have a pump. I mean, I don't know. It, it's not cheap. It's an expensive foundation. And I don't understand why don't ha they don't have a pump on the packaging. But, but, they did release stay in place makeup pump separately it costs and I don't understand why you have to buy it separately because they know that everybody loves their foundation and they want the pump so I want a pump and I bought it and I think that they should put it on the packaging very nice pack you can see and here's the pump it's very light so I'm going to try this foundation on and I'm going to use my favorite brush all time, my favorite favorite brush and this is this kind of kabuki brush from Paris Berlin, love this brush and I'm going of course to try the other side with a beauty blender and I am going to put the primer all over my face, I don't usually try the foundations on one side of my face without a primer because I always use a primer so for me to try it without a primer it's really I, I don't see a point if you want me to review a foundation and try it on my skin without the primer please let me know but so I'm going to try it with this hangover primer and it's also water coconut water based and I didn't on, only get the foundation I also got this double way stay in place eyeshadow base you know they always look for a nice eyeshadow primer and I need wanted to try this I really really wanted and I was so glad when it came to Sweden very nice packaging feels soft has a little bit color payoff not much we'll see so we're going to try this one and also I got the concealer so I got double way stay in place concealer and I got the shade 2c light medium I really hope this will match because I didn't uh, open it before looks like this very nice packaging I don't know if it's too dark uh, maybe it will work not too dark looks nice we'll try it we'll try it doesn't smell nice okay so that's the product I'm we going to try today so if you want to see me do that please keep on watching and don't forget to subscribe okay so you're going to hear my children playing around here they are a little bit loud when they play So now I'm putting on the primer and I all have already have fixed my eyebrows and I have my 
moisturizer on. So first what I'm going to do is remove this and put on the pump. Replace the cap. Okay, and then we are going to shake it well. Very liquidy. Oh, it's liquidy. Can you see? I'm going to take my brush in there. This brush really, really applied beautifully for the foundation on my skin and it feels light. Now it's not the best coverage or the full coverage as I would like it to be, but it looks very nice and it feel, looks like my real, real skin and I really, really like it. I'm kind of afraid to try to apply it with a beauty blender because sometimes the beauty blender can just drink up all the foundation. But we'll see, we'll see, we have to try. I love how beautiful this look with that brush. So let's try to put this foundation on my face and apply it with the beauty blender. And I'm going to do it like this. And I think this is almost as much as I had it on the other side. Well, uh, as I look at my skin right now, it feel the Beauty Blender did apply it nice also, but it kind of um, more light coverage with the Beauty Blender than it is with the brush. So I'm going to take my favorite brush again and uh, use that. So take, I will try to build it up and see if I can get more coverage from it. Yeah, the brush is much better. This foundation really looks like my skin. I'm kind of afraid that I'm going to get very oily and shiny during the day because when when I look at myself right now, I don't I don't I hope you can see that I'm a I'm shiny. I'm shiny and it's not matte foundation. And I kind of know that, but I don't want to be too oily. A little shine is not bad, but when it gets too much I really like how this looks on my skin. It looks, it feels and it looks like my skin. Can you see how beautiful it looks on my skin? Flawless. So let's go over to the eyeshadow base. So we are going to try this and because today I have long nails so I can't, so I can't just dig in with my finger. <laughs> So I'm going to try to use this br flat brush from the body shop. I had this for years and apply that. Just take off. It has uh, a little bit of the coverage, but not too much. And because I really love the double wear foundation and it really stays on my face for 13, 14, 15 hours, I have high hopes for this eyeshadow base. And I hope I don't get disappointed. Now, let's go to the concealer and I'm going to blend it with my brush that I use for the foundation because I use this to blend my concealer too. And I really love my NARS concealer, so I hope it will be something like that. It's a little bit yellow. But it's light, it's not too light and not too dark, so.
it blends very very nice so fast and very easy but um, it's not as light as I would maybe like it to be it's not bad the coverage is okay I will say it's it's not full full coverage but it's getting there well it did cover my dark circles it's not bad it's not bad it doesn't feel heavy it feels like I don't have any makeup on my skin right now I do look a little bit shiny that's something that scares me right now but we'll see I hope I don't get more shiny during the day I like a little bit of glow but not oiliness let's see if we can build it up a little bit for some reason the foundation doesn't want to stick on my nose on the tip of my nose and I have that problem with almost all the foundations so something's wrong with my nose <laughs> so I'm going to use this brush that I used to set to put my uh, ba eyeshadow base on and use a little bit of this concealer to fix my eyebrows a little bit So I'm going to set my concealer with this um, lace, Revolution Makeup Baking Powder lace and I really, really love this powder. The eyeshadow base started to set into my crease, so I'm going to try to blend it again with my finger and set it with the powder. So it's a bad sign when it already started to crease. But we'll see if it works when I set it with some powder. The foundation started to set into my lines on my forehead. I don't like that. And I'm going to set my um, foundation and concealer also with this Rimmel Stay Matte powder because I do look a little bit shiny. So. I'm going to get over a little bit here, use the same brush and then I'm going to use my big powder brush to set the rest of my face. So I'm going to finish my look and then I'll be right back. So guys, my makeup is done. Now it's 11.30 and uh, everything else went smoothly on. My rest of my makeup on this foundation. Right now I love the foundation, it looks beautifully. I'm kind of scared that it's going to get oily during the day, but we'll see. And my eyeshadows never went better on like they did before. So I, right now I do like that eyeshadow base, but we'll see. The concealer also worked good, so I'm going to do check-ins and see how it will wear during the day. Hi everyone, it's almost 6 o'clock and I had this foundation for about 5-6 hours. And uh, let's see how this works. Uh, I am a little bit oily and shiny, but it's not, it doesn't look terrible. Now my eyeshadow, it started creasing a little bit and fading up here the concealer looks beautiful the foundation looks beautiful on my skin there is still some bl blush and highlighter and uh, bronzer on my skin let's zoom in so you can see as you can see i am a little bit shiny but look how beautiful this looks look here no creasing so I really enjoy this foundation, I really like the concealer and I don't know really how I feel about the eyeshadow primer or eyeshadow base. It did start creasing here, it doesn't look bad as it can be with other foundation, uh, not foundation but eyeshadow bases, but it's not bad. It did crease a little bit so 
I will continue using it. It doesn't look terrible. It did fade a little bit here in my crease. I can't find my blotting or my um, blotting paper, but I'm going to use a tissue and just touch my skin. A little bit of the foundation came off but it looks wonderful still it looks like I just put on my makeup I love it I really really like it so that was everything I had for you 